guys, welcome back. I'm Christine of Side Street Market and it's time for the flea market haul. So you will have gone shopping with John and I at the flea market. Um, the summertime is a little bit slimmer picking here in Florida. A lot of our vendors go back up north where the heat just tends to keep people away from the flea market. But I still managed to find a few goodies. Sorry, Holly's being kind of silly on the couch behind the camera. Holly's my cat for those who don't know. So I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and we're just gonna dive in and see what I got from the outside vendors. Now tomorrow there will be another haul and that will be from Port Orange Thrift and Vintage, which is the thrift store on the site of the flea market. So today we have ephemera. My goal with going to the flea market was I was looking for jewelry, ephemera, and linens for upcoming whatnot sales. And I found jewelry, ephemera, and linens. So we're gonna start with some of the bigger items and I'm gonna save the linens for last because it's like 95% doilies. So that way, in case you guys aren't that interested in linens and doilies, it'll be last and you can kind of cut out before it's over. Sorry, Holly just went to jump on the chair and she grabbed the blanket on the chair and her and the blanket both went to the floor, but they're okay. I swear we're gonna get through this. Okay, so first off, I saw this and I snagged it. I brought it home, tried it. It works, it lights beautifully. I paid $5 for this. It'll probably go for $50 and up on eBay or Etsy. This is kind of like that 80s style where it changes all the iridescent colors. I was really excited to find it. There is some scuff marking and glue on the front I need to try to get off. But I have bought and sold one of these before that was more contemporary. This one may be a newer one also. Nope, it says made in Taiwan. So this is definitely like an 80s, 90s version. So that is going to be a really good flip that I'll probably pay for. I think my total spend with the outdoor vendors was about $70. So that was five. And then this other vendor, I was walking by and I saw he had a whole stack of paper. He goes, $1 for the pile. I said, sold. I don't know what's in it, but we're going to find out because I need ephemera for my whatnot sales. So the first thing I that's on here is some sort of a Ford chassis parts catalog so this is an old ford catalog it's got tons of great diagrams um this is great for junk journaling or if people just like the old cars so this even though it's a bit heavier i will probably list this as is it's a bit grungy on the side too i'm gonna mark i'm gonna list this as is i'm gonna try it in a whatnot sale first and then if that doesn't work then I'll try selling it elsewhere because someone can really use this for junk journaling and it'd be really, really, really cool. Then we have a little bonus book of Georgia's Stone Mountain just east of Atlanta. And it's this little color book that has all these postcards of the area that you can pull out. So that's kind of sweet. Some vintage cabins. Oh, and there's a Stone Mountain Memorial Association. There's even a little ticket so we're going to keep that in there and there so we have that then we have some uh band music first division band method missouri by fred weber so just some band music and then we have a really really big thick anthology book of music so all this for a dollar oh this has got some really great pages so that'll be good for junk journaling this person must have liked fords i'm sorry dad my dad's a chevy guy so here's another ford catalog again good for junk journaling grungy or someone may actually want this it's 1962 so i might look this up online first before i go putting it in a whatnot sale then we have some more sheet music, Call Weber's Modern Violin. New York, New York, 75 cents, 1942. So that'll be good. And this one, I can't sell someone, I think someone drew on this. I don't think this is the original cover. Marvin Edson, I don't know, it might be part of it. I don't know, I don't know what's going on there. Oh no, that is the original. That is an original sketch on there. Well, it's a print of an original sketch. Piano Repertoire, P 
Piano Library, $1.25, Rockwell Center, New York. Let's see, do we have a year? 1967. And again, just great sheet music. Then we get into these, which are kind of cool. They are VT Music and Games, 1969. It's a music and games newspaper. It's got like, um, oh, pinball machines and stuff in it. Artist of the Month, Janet Goodman. The new Apollo, I guess that's like a jukebox. Look at the carpet ad. So what I'm gonna do when I do my ephemera sales and whatnot, guys, is I will be holding stuff up I'm gonna have my camera pointing down so I can flip through. Fed up with typing those reports. So this will be really cute, 50 cents originally. And I have a couple of those. Um, this one, I think the cover tore off. Is this the cover? There was just a random cover. So I think that might go to this one. Let me hold that aside. So I have October, September, July. November, January, and I think this is the part of the, I don't know, I guess I'm missing a cover. That's a shame, this one's missing a cover. This one was like December, 1969. So unless I said I had that one, November, July. So I have almost a whole year here. So that would be kind of cool to go through. And then this one is September. Look at the hairstyles. So those will be neat. I'm gonna have to see if I can get some bigger mailers though. Granger Museum of Art Show is faced with success. And then there's a whole, there's an article that was pulled out about the museum. So I think that goes in here. This was October. So that was my little ephemera haul. So I think for a dollar, that was not too shabby at all. Like, I know I got some weird catalogs, but I think these magazines are really gonna be the key. So then I went over and I saw my buddy, Vendor Joe, we're gonna call him. And I got a couple of goodies from him. I feel like I'm missing something though. Oh, it's in there, okay. So those were a dollar, so that's $6 I'm in so far. I feel like I'm missing something. Probably not. Okay. So then I went and saw Vendor Joe, and Vendor Joe has a dollar table. So I was looking for some cute littles. I'm just gonna get this bubble wrap out of here. So I went to his dollar table, and I thought this would be really cute for an ephemera sale. Their holiday collection, 1995. It's a bunch of Christmas doilies. So I thought someone could actually use those. There's new old stock or they can use them for crafting and it only cost me a dollar. And also from Joe's dollar table, I found this little tiny cute creamer that I thought would be cute for a whatnot sale. It doesn't have a make or anything, but that'd be cute to like hold toothpicks or like Q-tips in a bathroom or something. So I picked that up. So that was three. And then I picked this up and I want to say he charged me $2 for this, 2 or $3. And I always pick these up when I see them. It's kits for nutcracker trays. So if you find those trays that look like a squirrel or an acorn, and it looks like they're missing something in the middle, it's a nut tray. Actually, do I still have mine? I do. Well, that one was mine. But this is what they look like. This is mine. And so the cracker goes in here and picks go in there. This guy's not for sale, this one's me. So this kit comes with the cracker and you get a set of six picks and some match, some don't. So I always pick those up because it's good to have replacements because then when you go to list them, you have everything you need. So I paid a couple of bucks for that. This guy's gonna go back in the cabinet. And then I paid $5 for this because it's entertaining with insects. You heard me right, entertaining with insects. 
Beth, if you're listening, cooking with insects. The original guide to insect cookery. I had to pay $5 for it because who doesn't need a book on bugs? It's illustrated. And this is from 1992. It was remade originally 1976. To our adventurous friends. Let's just open California lunch. Cricket Louise. Rolls, parsley butter, honey bee granola bars. Are you tired of shrimp and crab, Louise? Then try our Cricket Louis, Louise. We think you'll come back for more. One cup cooked crickets chilled. Louise dressing, tomatoes, hard boiled eggs, olives, lettuce, and artichoke hearts. Arrange lettuce leaves in a dish. Attractively arrange crickets. Can you attractively arrange crickets? I'm just wondering, can you attractively arrange crickets? Okay, the dressing is chili sauce, mayonnaise, green onion, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, you know that one, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, I could never say that. Sugar, so you have to basically have chili, mayonnaise, sugar, and spice to mask the taste of the crickets. All right, let's look at another one, minestrone. How can you make minestrone wrong? A close Italian friend gave us this recipe, minus the insects, which his uncle serves at their family gatherings. He said that it is best when it can be simmered for an entire day. Being typical Americans in a hurry, we cut the time and found it was still scrumptious soup. Don't forget the pesto. One cup of mealworms, 10 cups of water, half a cup green split peas, barley, lentils, um, salt, carrots, celery, onion, turnips, bay leaf, thyme, and pesto. Ugh. Udon soup, two cups of insect broth. See the basic section for making insect broth. Brunch, sauteed bacon pepper bees. Using bees, follow recipe for garlic butter, fried insects, adding half to one teaspoon bacon pepper. Stuffed cherry tomatoes. Candied insects are a delightful garnish as you will discover with this recipe. You need cherry tomatoes, one package of cream cheese, two tablespoons onion grated, candied insects, crickets or bees, although I wouldn't go eating bees because bees are endangered. So just putting that out there. Combine cream cheese and onion, remove center tomatoes stuffed with cream cheese, top with candy, cricket or bee. So if you're looking for a book for your next cocktail party, or if you have in-laws that you don't want to ever come back to your house, I'm just saying, I have the book for you. It will be in an ephemera sale. And the last thing I got from Joe, this was $2. I thought this would be cute for a whatnot sale. It's just a nice little hand-painted Nippon bowl, almost like a little finger bowl, very cute. And I just noticed the hairline crack. There is a hairline crack on it, but Okay, so it's a glazing crack. It's not actually all the way through. So I thought that'd still be cute, like in a bathroom with some cotton balls or some Q-tips. I think that would still be really cute. So I grabbed that and we're getting to the good stuff, guys. I got three more items and I have three bags of jewelry, then all the linens. So we're getting there. I paid $3 for this. Some of you may recognize what it is. And this does say Home Co. on the bottom. I got a fairy light. So this is one of the cube style fairy lights, clear glass. And I'm going to put this in a whatnot sale. One of my vintage whatnot sales. So what you'll start to find as you watch my um, flea market haul videos, guys, is that flea market is going to start going to whatnot. Because that's where I can find the deals to bring you guys the deals on whatnot. And then for my enamel loving people, I found some cute contemporary enamel. Um, I think those are chocolate pots, they call them, or little coffee pots. They are heavier. They do have some patina. This one does. Um, the enameling is off a little on this one. It's chipped, but they were a dollar each. So I got those again for a fun whatnot sale. I thought someone might like to decorate with those. And now 
the moment you've all been waiting for, the jewelry. So I hit up two jewelry tables and I'm gonna bring you all in just a little closer. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So you can see the jewelry really well. So the first table I hit up was the dollar table and this couple, everything on their table is a dollar. So I picked up this whole bag and all this jewelry is going to whatnot. And then the other two bags, it was, you buy five, you get two free and it was $5. So it was like a dollar each and then I got two for free. So I got 14. So I basically got four pieces of jewelry for free, but you know how that goes. Okay. So first up, we have this fun kind of boho, like wood bead necklace with the lobster clasp. And it does have a maker on it, but I cannot make that out right now. But it does have a maker on it. Let's see if I can, it's like upside down. Nope, I can't figure it out, but I just like the look of it. So I picked up that. And then you guys know I love the, just the acrylic beads. So this is a really fun long layering one in this great teal. Got that for a dollar. And then these were really, really cool. They're kind of like a fun amber bead, but they've got like a sparkle inside of them. You know what? I did forget something, guys. Hold on. So I forgot my black light to see. There we go. If anything glows. Oh, well, that's interesting. That first necklace I showed you. The pink beads actually glow. I guess you guys can't see that, but the pink beads are actually glowing. That's kind of weird. Let's see if anything else glows. Nope. 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 Okay. Oh, these do. Okay. Can you guys see that? I thought these might glow. Look how cool. Yeah, so those look like they have like what looks like a little cadmium in them. Fun, fun, fun. So I got those. So I think I spent like $15. I got this beautiful brooch. And this is an Avon. But I still love it because it's big and it's awesome. And then I picked this up because I like the bling. I'm always a fan of the bling. I think this has some great colors. Again, just a dollar, it'll go in a whatnot sale. And then I got this brooch that does not have a maker on it. Let me get that closed up. But it's just pretty kind of enamel flowers. And then this is cool for all of you nautical lovers. A little red, white, and blue for the summertime. It's all enamel, C class. And I got this, it's just a simple peacock with a modern rhinestone. And then, cause I love a little bling, I picked up this guy, probably like a Charm and Charlie's kind of deal, but I just liked the faceted stones and the kind of bib style. I thought it was also a really pretty color. And then for those who really love the nautical, I got this cool that's now super tangled. Hold on one second. It's a seashell necklace. It's got all these really, really cool shells on it. So I thought that'd be a fun summertime piece as well. And then I have four brooches left. I picked up this big Bama Jamma. I just like the gold and the pearl. And then this one, I was hoping something would glow. It does feel older. It's got a nice faceted emerald style stone. It's just got a really nice look to it. So it's got the, the rhinestones and then it's just all this gold filigree and this great big old green stone in the center. And then I got this, 
which isn't marked, but it's a real nice silver. It almost looks like a white gold, but it's not. And it's got like a black faceted stone in the center followed by rhinestones. And then these guys, this guy felt a little older, just the way the back is kind of welded. And you almost have that, no, you don't have the flying bee on there. Just the, there we go. Look at that sparkle. So that was the first table. So we did really good there. And then I hit up the next table. And uh, this one, I went for a little bit of the purple. I got this fun purple and gold. So these were where if you buy five, you get two free. Then just a simple purple bead. I might put these two together because they're both purple and gold as a set. Then these, I love, these are just a honking set of wood choker beads. Like this reminds me of like Wilma from the Flintstones. I should have the big necklaces. And then for my kitty cat lovers, I found you a little Hello Kitty style pendant necklace. And then this was just a really neat brooch. It does, it is, oops, I think one stone has come a little loose in transport, but it's just these little shells. And I thought the colors were great. So I am gonna have to check on this one. One guy looks like he might be a little loose. I don't know, if, yeah, they're all just kinda, they might be sewn on. But it's just got these great little, there we go. Love those. And then this guy was just kind of fun and funky and retro. So I'm gonna have some fun stuff coming for you all. Then I picked up these peacock earrings, enamel peacock. And then these are just a simple set of aluminum pierced, but I thought with all the purple and blue that they'd be pretty. And then this was just another cute set of pierced enamel with the teal and the pink. And then I found this brooch, which has got the red and gold. It reminds me of a Trifari, but it's not marked. Just a nice red and enamel gold. Now this reminds me of my sister's in like the 80s. It's that kind of cream and brown wood block necklace. And then this is another cool enamel choker style, bib style, excuse me. With, it's got the yellow, the cream, and the red enamel on metal. It's a really cool statement piece. And then I liked this bracelet because it has like this teal and brass. And it's just a simple bangle. And last but not least, for the owl lovers, I found an owl pendant necklace as well. So that is all of the jewelry, guys. So I hope you liked that. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the linens. And so all this jewelry cost me 10, I think $25 for all of it. Cause it was a dollar piece. And I think I got 15 at the first thing and I got $10 worth at the second place. So that was a pretty good deal. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. And now comes the major linen haul. So if you're not into linens, not into doilies, don't worry about guys, I will catch you in another video. But I got, this whole bag full. So what the lady did was I walked up and she was like, they're two for five. So I don't remember what I did, but, um, okay. So they were two for five. And I think I picked out six, like 12. And she gave me 12 for 20. And then she turned around and she was like, would you take the rest of them for 10? And I was like, yeah, yeah. So I'm not gonna take them all out of the bag and drive you guys insane. Just know I paid $30 for all of this. So the first thing is this set of brown gloves. Actually, I'm gonna have to take these out so you guys can see them. They're a nice soft set of brown gloves. They're kind of a bit stretchy and everything has to be washed. Wash. These are marched. These are marked leather tailored crescendo caress all nylon size seven. 
So I did get some gloves in here and those will probably be coming, I guess, to whatnot sales. So then there was this pair of tan, oh, there's two things in here. We got a nice, these feel like a nice soft leather glove and it's got the little bead closure. Suede interior and it has this little handkerchief with it. So that's cute. All the linens have to be washed. Not posted gloves, 50 cents. Hanky, 25 cents each. So someone had a little note. They must have been posting these online and then just stopped. So there's those. So I'm gonna try to show you guys all the gloves and then we'll kind of go quickly through the linens. Now this one still has tags on it. It says fits all Kaiser and it's got these little rhinestone bows on them. And then here's another little brown set of like that first one that's kind of that nylon. And then we have this large doily with the flowers. And then this looks like a white glove set. Oh, wow. These are elbow gloves, guys, with the beads on them. Wow. They do have a little lipstick mark on them. Those are cute. I don't know how you measure the size of gloves. I don't know how to do that. I've not had to deal with gloves before. So those are cool. Okay. So then I have two pink sets of gloves. These, This one says vintage silk and it has the little pearl on it and then this is another pair this one looks like a suede like a leather suede and it's got the ribbing and then this is actually a little purse the lady told me it's a cute little see it's like a little purse you can't fit a lot in there but it's still cute so lots of really good doilies. I have to go through an inventory and wash all these now. And now how I wash my doilies is I take like a Tupperware bin and I put some like um, cool water in it because white, no, warm for whites, white, warm water. And I put a little wool light in it and I just gently like take an old ruler and I just stir it like a plastic ruler. I gently stir them and I let them soak for a while and then I just rinse them all and then I hang them to dry. I got this. Birds are tracking up a storm. Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, this is a scarf, guys. Look at this pretty scarf. Yeah, everything definitely needs washing. I'm gonna separate out the color from the white, but that is a really, really pretty, pretty scarf. It just stinks. Everything's got that, you know, it's been in an attic for 10 years smell, but I still think $30 for all this. I have to have over 30 pieces. This I thought was a cool um, bag of uh, like trim. So just some really, really neat trim. So I grab that. And then we have some nice lace. Oh, here's another set of gloves, guys. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna clean these. These have staining on them, but, oh, and it's got a tag too. We'll have to check these out. Oh, wow. These are older. L lining 100% silk, made in France, 100% pure silks, seven real kid, it's called. And it's these embroidered silk gloves, but it does have staining on them. And then we have just some bags of your basic crochet doilies. I won't pull all those out and bore y'all, but we've just got some basic crochet doilies going on here. And then this caught my eye with the colors because it reminded me of that trim. So I don't know. 
I think this is a hat. No, guys, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a little dresser scarf. Look at that. Very interesting. It definitely smells old though. I don't know what that would be, but that's cute, right? And then we just have, let's see, I'm trying to see if there's more gloves. So we have just some more, these are more tan colored crochet doilies. This one's pretty with the flowers. We'll take a look at that one. All the work that must've gone into these. Look at that, that's pretty. With like the star flowers, that's really pretty. Yeah, all these guys are going to need a good little scrub-a-dub-dub. Then -dub. some another crocheted, I think I have a little hat here. So two more crocheted sets. This looks like a little tiny hat. Oh, it is. It's like a little baby hat. It's got the little, the snap, or it's missing the other half of its snap. It fell off, but this looks like it was a little hat at some point. That's sweet. Someone could still use it for a doll. Another little crochet doily. This one does have some staining. And then some little guys. That one's pretty. This is another scarf. And look, we've got more gloves, guys. So this is another set with like the pretty embroidery. And then this set says, wear right foremost in gloves made in Western Germany, size seven and a half. And then we've got some table lace. So it was a pretty good day. I mean, I went there looking for very specific things and I was pleased I was able to find what I was looking for. Oh, this is lovely. This is like a, a table runner and it's got all these squares of the embroidered flowers. Can you guys see those? That's a very nice table runner. So that's a table runner, that'll be pretty. So what I'll probably do with the doilies is I'll try to lot up some of the doilies and then sell the bigger items on their own. This looks like another table runner. Oh, this feels like really nice linen. Yep, it's another pretty table vanity runner, table runner, dresser scarf. It's got the floral embroidery. I'm gonna have to take my allergy medicine after this. This one has the, the eyelets is I think what they're called when it has the little, oh, this one's nice. Wow, look at that guys. Wow, that one's really pretty. I love that, wow. It's for a nice square table. There is a little staining, there is a little repair, there is some discoloration. So like I said, a little wool light and these will be good as new. I'm gonna have to probably do them in little batches so they don't run. And then there's some beautiful lace. And this is like a crocheted runner. And then there's this one last one. And that's it guys, that is my haul from shopping with John at the flea market. Not bad for an hour and a half through the market. I got everything on my list. I got some linens, got some ephemera. Got lots of new jewelry, which was top of my list. So if you guys liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, guys. I'll be back with you soon.